Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create a Windows form based application using uh, Visual Studio 2022. Uh, so I will write some code and then you know I will run it and show you. So uh, first of all open Visual Studio 2022 uh, as I have opened here. So open it and then click on create a new project. Here uh, search for uh, Windows form. And you can see different options here so we are interested in this uh, c sharp one okay this is the bb this is the c sharp so i'll show you this uh, uh, i'll write some c sharp code so i will show you using this example here click on next button here give a name to your uh, project so give any name you want uh, leave rest of the things as it is uh, here you can select the location where you want to uh, want this uh, source code to be stored so you can select that give that path here and then click on next here i have installed dotnet 8 so i'll be showing this example using dotnet 8 you can uh, select uh, any of these uh, frameworks whatever you have if you want to use dotnet 8 and if you want to know how to download and install dotnet 8 then uh, i have a video on it uh, you can check the description uh, for that video uh, so here i'll show you using dotnet 8 so i'm selecting that click on create button so here we have the windows uh, form open uh, so you can see some programs on the right side so this is the solution explorer window and uh, then you have team explorer uh, get changes all these things you know uh, so this is if you are uh, using a repository uh, then this will be useful and then the properties uh, this is the properties of the form so all these uh, items are displayed on the right hand side uh, whatever controls you want to put here will be available on this uh, toolbox so you can select uh, whatever you want and you can drag and drop here on this form okay so this is the form basically and these are the controls okay available to you uh, so you can uh, put those here and you can set the properties uh, uh, here in this properties window uh, on the right hand side okay if you have any sql server connection any database connection so that will be uh, visible here uh, and then uh, data sources you can configure your data sources uh, so that those things will be visible here so in this example i'll be using uh, two list boxes and a couple of buttons so i will use the toolbox for that uh, now if you are new to visual studio then uh, you will find you know if you if you are missing a window here so you can go here and you can uh, select that particular window like you can see toolbox is here so if it is not available not showing to you then you can select this toolbox from here similarly solution explorer which is on the right side you can select from here so all these different uh, you know windows uh, are available here so if due, to, if due to some reason it is not showing on uh, in your uh, visual studio then you go here and select that okay and that will that will that will appear let's now go to toolbox uh, so here uh, let's select the uh, list box so one list box one more so i have now two list boxes here and i want two buttons so button control is here and then one more button control here okay now I will set some properties of these buttons. Uh, for example, the text that appears here. So what I will do is like this, uh, I will set so that the purpose of this is whatever items are here on the left side should move to the right side. Similarly, this button will be towards the left side, okay? So things will move to back to the left side. So uh, we will add few items and then we will uh, uh, write some code for this uh, to move these uh, items from left to right and from right to left so select this so select the list list box here and then we'll go to this items collection click on this button and here add in my example i will add few city names so okay so these are the city names few of the cities uh, so click on ok button now the cities are appearing here now let's write some code so double click this button so this will open the code window 
now this window is open so we don't need the toolbox so we can close it so as you can see now this is the code i have written so i am uh, first checking if anything is selected if selected then i am moving that item to the right list box here by adding it here and then removing the item from the left list box and then clearing out the selection okay so this is the code now let's write the same code for button 2 but in a different way so go back here and then this is the event for the button 2 click so write it like this but let's change the things in the opposite direction so now this will do the reverse of this yeah whatever is done here it will do the reverse of that so let's run it and see if it is uh, running or if there is any bug so click this button here this is the run button so now the form is appearing so select one of the items click here now you can see it is able to move the items to the right list box now it is also able to move it back to the left list box so uh, that's all about uh, this tutorial here uh, so hopefully it will help you to understand how this windows form application is created using visual studio 2022 uh, if so please uh, like uh, this video and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you